As you'd expect, our announcements include a few cancellations. The weekly prayer meeting and Bible study on Thursday morning are both on hold until restrictions lift. We hope that will be in time for activities the following week, including the Presbyterian Women's Missionary Union on Tuesday afternoon and the session meeting on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And then looking a bit further ahead, the youth group is expected to meet on Friday the 20th of August at Balmatum. For the congregation at Wodonga, the session had a special meeting through the week and it was resolved to call a special meeting of the congregation on Sunday the 22nd of August. That meeting will take steps towards filling the pastoral vacancy for the congregation. We've also adjusted the date for the regular annual congregational meeting and brought it forward to the 5th of September. Also, many things are online these days, including the opportunity to give for the work of the gospel in your local congregation. You can see the giving details on your screen, or you can make a gift by sending a cheque to the postal details as listed there. Well, it's time for the pastoral prayer, and this is a great opportunity to stop the video and to spend some time in prayer on your own or with the people watching along with you. And then when you're ready, hit play and we'll continue the service with the pastoral prayer. Eternal God, in your word you tell us that you have loved us with an everlasting love, and that underneath are the everlasting arms. Our God, as our world continues to change rapidly in ways we may not even expect, we praise you and thank you that you are dependable, even when everything else seems to change. You are faithful, and you never forget your own. So, our God, we praise you and thank you for the gift of the Lord Jesus, who calls us and gathers us together as your people. We thank you for the ongoing work of your Holy Spirit, who brings new life and gives us understanding of your scriptures. We pray, our God, that our neighbours and friends, our family, also would come to know and trust in the Lord Jesus. For brothers and sisters who are struggling with their health, with grief and with other trials, we pray that they would know and be able to look back on your goodness to them, even in difficult days. And may we always be able to say, great is your faithfulness, our God. And so, our Father, we thank you that the Lord Jesus has made it possible for us to pray to you for the faith that you give us, that our prayers will be answered and for your eternal plan which means that all of the answers are just the best that we could ever experience. And so, our Father, we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll give thanks to God again as we sing our next song, which is A Christian's Daily Prayer. <laughs> 